So it's been a week since I started this experiment and I fertilized these for the first time. So I wanted to give a little follow up on each one of these and show you kind of what's been happening. On the 2020-20, um, these buds that already previously opened up have opened up a little bit more and got a little bit more greener. And you can tell here and down here that these buds have swelled a little bit and greened up a bit, which is to be expected. And then on the 9588, same kind of thing. These already existing buds that had opened up have opened up a little bit more and greened up quite a bit. And it looked like on the hardwood, uh, there were these buds here and up here that have swelled and greened up as well. On the carbon one in the 2020 there weren't any existing buds like the other ones, but there was one here that isn't doing much, that it was still looks the same. And there are existing buds in up and through here and over here on this branch that have not swelled or done much at all, which is to be expected using carbon one. You might think that is a bad thing, but I will explain to you why that's actually a good thing. So when you use fertilizer, it triggers the nutrient flow of the plant from the roots up into the foliage. And so, you're gonna see it start greening up and the buds swelling and start pushing new growth right away. Now, when you use carbon one, it triggers the carbon flow, which is from the foliage down into the roots and it takes all its energy and starts pushing new roots instead of starting to green up buds or swelling buds and doing those kind of things that you see with fertilizer. And that's what people are used to seeing. So when you don't see that with using carbon one, people are think that it's not working. But in fact, it's doing what's best for the plant. So what we're gonna see here is that over the next few weeks, you're gonna see the nutrient flow being triggered. And so these two plants over here are gonna start pushing what they can. And over here, you're gonna start seeing carbon one, not you're not gonna see much in the top um, for the, for a little while, but it's sending all its energy into the roots. And then when the plant is ready, it's gonna trigger it to start pushing new buds. Now, the buds that you're seeing here on the 958.8, those little buds, they're just, they're gonna push and grow and they're not gonna be very big. But you're gonna see on these buds, on the carbon one, that they're actually gonna start getting bigger and bigger and better and get more energy so that when they do push, they're gonna be three to five times bigger. So it's better that we're, we're conserving energy and, and sending it into the roots for when the plant is ready to push and it's gonna be three to five times bigger than just pushing these small little buds that these ones have right now, which really aren't gonna amount to much of anything. So we're gonna see a lot quicker results from the sod because it's a lot faster growing plant. We can already see that the 2020-20 is put on some new growth as well as greened up pretty nicely. The 958-8, not so much uh, new growth, but has greened up a little bit and quite a bit results on the carbon one in the 2020 20. We've got a lot more growth and height and greening up than on the others. If we take a closer look here, you kind of pull this back here. I don't know if you can see, but there's that bright green growth. That's all new growth. Can't really see much on that one. On the carbon one, you pull this back. See all the nice fluorescent green growth? That's all new growth. And we're seeing a lot more of that with the carbon one. So 
So I'm gonna go ahead and fertilize these again for this week as well as the privet and come back next week and I'll have another video to see some more results.